All right, so sometimes you might get clients from other, you know, clients that went to other providers, and um, sometimes their treatments will actually have some darker dots like this. You can see they look bigger. So we have certain techniques how to blend this in without the client going through laser. So what you want to do is start building up the density around that pigment dot. Slowly increase it until you, you match the density. Increase density, but don't, whatever you do, don't hit that existing pigment that was done by the other provider. So once you start blending it in, you'll notice the eye starts going away from that big dot. So that saves the client a trip to the laser doctor. So right now, you cannot even notice where them dots were right now because technically you just camouflage them in. The same thing goes for even people that do like second sessions. You know, if you got a couple big dots on your second session or even the first session when that client comes back, so say that's a big dot that a client came in and remember, you don't need laser. All you have to do is blend it in. So the eye is taken away from that area. This is a melon. This is replicating skin. This will kind of give you guys an idea, which is a really important that you guys nail this techniques down before you actually work on clients. But you can see the magic of what camouflaging and uh, pointillism does with the scalp micropigmentation.